Oh, the greatness of God, the glory of his splendor, the beauty of the over-soul of the universe and its reach into the radiance of every heart beating in unison with his own, with the essence of her love, the dynamism of spiritual fire. As your Afra, I come this morning to invest greater love within you, greater mindfulness that originates from your soul, your spirit wed to the divine, your essence manifesting your divinity in many realms of being through that which you cognize, that which you discover of self through oneness with the mind, the heart, and the soul of the divine. Dearest ones, God has impressed within you an eternal essence that lives on through your threefold flame, that manifests as conscious awareness of presence. If you choose to accept that reality and fan the fires of beingness in some way each day through love, love of God, love of self in its highest aspect, and love of the God presence and being of every creature. So fashioned in the image and likeness of the Eternal One. Freedom is on the march through those who are awakening and being quickened by the Holy Spirit in this hour to feel the refreshing winds of that radiance and presence within their lives, and to then ennoble the race through the givingness of self and the highest aspect of service, which is love. When love is front and center in your life, when you put God into the equation of your consciousness, by applying the principles and precepts of that love in action through service and charity. There I am within you as the soulful aspects of your being, flowing through you, manifesting through you, giving through you unto all in this selfless gift of your divine presence. Yes, dearest ones, every son and daughter of God, every child of his, her heart, through the bonding of the soul within the over soul of the all-encompassing one, may self-discover something new, fresh, and radiant each day in this givingness and the alchemy of love and the science of harmony and the presence of peace that comes because you put God first in your life. As your Afra, your master of soulfulness, I come to embed within you and within the earth, deep unto its core, this reality of soulful living. And I urge you all to take up that tome, to read it, devour it, to make it your own, to invest yourself in the process which is a part of the greater process of what I initiated within this book 
of a greater outflow of conscious presence to the earth so that all who feel in some way so less or less than their perfect self may have the enrichment of this essence by God's grace even through your own witness to that presence in your life to that beingness deep within your heart for dearest ones soul by soul by soul when all feel this presence when all accommodate the reality of their Godhead their Godhood within their life then the purpose of my coming and release of this dear book will be fulfilled and though there will be volume 2 which will allow me to say more and to deliver the concluding words of this offering to humanity the message must live on through you the essence of that which I have encapsulated within this discourse must find harmonic resonance and an abiding reality within your soul so that together the victory is fulfilled as one brother sisterhood is realized as a community of hearts there is born within the earth something grand and divine that God is now impressing within his own that God is now delivering unto her children the rich artistry of this tapestry of light is finding avenues of expression within thousands and millions of these quickened and awakened ones who are coming into their own in terms of self-realizing this new sense of oneness beingness and the ever-present and eternal now when you live in the integrity of the eternal now and choose presence over dissonance there I am in the unity field of beingness that pervades the sacred space where you live move and have your being blessed ones for you are sacred you are holy you are divine get this into your minds accept this deep within your being and then nothing can ever occur within your life that demeans you as a God created one that in any way brings you into disparate elements of the not self as it could manifest yet must not any longer hold sway within your life truly the virtuous ones across the earth who love God with that impelling love with their entire heart mind strength and soul are the ones who are moving forward civilization into the new era and when love permeates every nation every people every culture state city and environment then that love fulfilled in God's Word in God's presence is the answer to every dilemma issue and problem I send a ray into the earth in this hour 
or the quickening and awakening of a certain ten thousand more souls. Who must hear of my message? Who must have access to this book? Who must self-realize their godhood in this incarnation and not at some future distant time in a heaven world that is evanescent, fleeting, or inaccessible to who they are now? Bring the reality of heaven into earth through your active lives, live to the glory of God. Ground heaven right where you are each day with some noble act, deed, word, and givingness of your sacred gifts, of your talents, of your creative efforts. If you are not grounding heaven within earth consciously, then how can you call yourself an initiate? Following Jesus' words in the sacred Our Father or Lord's Prayer is what makes true spirituality manifest daily. Therefore, seek ways and means of expressing this reality through your active conscious lives. For when you do, I am there, investing my essence within you. I am vibrating from within your heart and soul. I am emanating light, light, light. Everywhere you live, move, and have your conscious awareness in God's presence. Truly, dearest ones, this day is an opportunity to love. This day is an opportunity to live as God beings in the light. This day and this hour is an opportunity to rise into your highest presence and awareness of who you are as a noble and true son or daughter of God. And then go forth victorious with this sense of soulfulness and of givingness in your life. We, the Ascended Masters, have said it so many ways. We have emanated our message now for quite some time through our own. And yet how many have received it, accepted it, and realized it deep within them? This is the dilemma of the hour. Self-realization of God within through love. If you can truly tell God each day that you love him, her, with all your heart, your mind, your strength and your soul, you mean it, you feel it, and you deliver that light through your emanations. Then the law of the Word is realized within you. Yet if you cannot feel that love, experience that depth of beingness through your heart, then I say, Find a new method. For it requires the feeling of love for your purpose to be fulfilled. And those who do not feel love for one another judge one another through harsh criticisms even within their minds cannot truly say that they love God. For if you love not your neighbor, you cannot love God in the totality of what love truly is. Therefore, make amends, transmute the negatives in your life. Learn to love everyone with co-equality as sons and daughters of the one God. 
and in that love, and in that oneness state of being, then you will be able to feel a greater depth of love for God, for God is love. God is beingness. God is light. I call to your mind that which must be resolved within you in order to be love and action, love and expression, love in reality. Where you have let go of love, where you have ignored love, where you have not delivered love when you could have, this is where you must go to then in a new spirit of acceptance and intention rise into that love by the grace of God. Feel that love by the grace of God. Know that love by the grace of the Divine One. For it is through grace that love is truly intimated, accepted, and expressed. And if you would have that grace to know that level of love, then call it forth, plead with the Divine One to move within you until you can feel that power of love stirring you, all your members, all your essences into a new brew of the new true you, dearest ones. And in that alchemy, that science of love, God will truly deliver through your life miracles untold, blessings unbounded, joys that even now you may not be able to conceive of. Unleash the power of love in your life. Let it flow. Let it grow. Let it sing. Let it dance. Let it move through every avenue of yourself. Every aspect of your being, every cell of your eternal nature. Be yourself a discourse of love, an ocean of love, a sky, a mountain of love. Give everything so that love may be your life. When this love impressed everywhere through you fulfills its purpose, then and only then will you ascend to the heart of God. For God's heart is love. And the ascension is the completion of love and the final act of harmonization and equalization within the eternal light essence of God's heart. As I speak, millions and millions of angels have gone forth to bless souls who require that love this day on every continent within every nation. And in this blessing, there is an encouragement. There is the dynamism of the Spirit manifest so that that soul, each one, may begin to feel again who she is, what her purpose is, why she is alive upon this earth. Through your work of loving, this encouragement, this dynamism, this alchemy will continue 
until every soul is free, every life is liberated in God. And you as bodhisattvas of the Spirit may then finally be free to move on to higher worlds of joy, of divine radiance and peace. Yet this is the hour when love must be employed. This is the day that Armageddon is manifesting. Truly it is a spiritual battle of light. And the only way that it can be one is through love. So my compatriots, my brothers and sisters of my heart, I Afra call you to a new and abiding love. And I offer myself each day to those who would by wedding themselves to spirit accept the reality of this opportunity to love God, to know God, to be God. Thank you for this tome of light. Thank you for all who made it happen, through your donations, your prayers, your beingness, your active conscious lives. Thank you for making this book a bestseller, not for the glory of the human, for the glory of God and true soulfulness everywhere. I thank you.